What is up, everybody? It's the Game Dex here. We are back again with episode I don't remember. I think it's 18. Maybe. Maybe episode 18 of our Pokemon in Sir Jin's Nuzlocke. Today is the day where we're finally going to battle the gym leader for the first time and hopefully, hopefully after 18 long episodes, get the first badge. Now, if you guys remember the last episode, we had we got new team members, which was amazing because we needed them. Our team was our team was hurting, so we needed the team members to be able to take on this gym, but we had to do some training off screen. So let's do a nice little team Ray Ray clap. Ray clap because it's our boy Ray Quaza. But we got our boy Octillery, not Remoraid anymore. Octillery the Ray Quaza. We're Rayquaza, the Octillaries. Suction Cups, what nature are you? You are relaxed. He's relaxed. He doesn't care. He doesn't care if a Rayquaza's on the screen. But he's rocking Bubble Beam, Psy Beam, Aura Beam, and Focus Energy. I was hoping he was Sniper, but I don't remember, like, which one's Sniper. So I gave him Focus Energy. So, it is what it is. Then we got our boy, Tucker, our Axew, Lonely Nature. It's okay, Tucker. We got you. We got you. And they do list it as Mission 1. So they are different areas. A. A. So all those Pokemon count. There's only a few. I did look it up to see, like, if there were too many. I didn't want to be like, oh. Ooh. And I didn't want to, like, catch too many. We do have a mission available for us. It is level 25, and it is a type that could be good against the gym. But I don't want to, like, complicate things. I'm going to save it. And I'll show you guys after the gym if we have time. But our Tucker has the rivalry ability. Rocking Dragon Rage Dual Chop. Which, what's your oops, what's your attack looking like? 60. Ooh, Dual Chop might actually be better. Dual Chop might be better now than Dragon Rage. Just saying. Slash, Dragon Rage, and Fall Swipe. So we can catch some Pokemon. Can we go? Can we go back, Tucker? Then we got Brock, another another amazing team member that evolved the Boldor now. Hasty nature with the sturdy ability, rocking Rock Blast, Headbutt, Sand Attack, and Iron Defense. We could get something going with Iron Defense. I we're gonna take a look at the gym leader Mons as we're getting up in there and decide. Hey, is it worth? Is it worth? And then we have Freedom, our Machop that we saved for that awful trainer bashful nature with guts guts if we could get burned ooh, that'd be so nice Yo, that that's a bad attack ev rocking karate chop strength revenge and knockoff knockoff could be actually useful because the gym leaders in hard mode carry items so and then we have spronk he's still a ball toy but he is the longest member of our team he is our Serious, serious levitating monster rocking Psy Beam, Cosmic Power, Power Trick, and Ancient Power. You know, I had a uh, Rock Tomb, but our boy is, I'm pretty sure our boy is a. Yeah, it is a special attacker. And we could actually use Cosmic Power to boost our defenses, and then Power Trick it to switch our defenses and attack, and then just go sweeping. There, There's, there's some options. That we can work with. Then we got Silver, our Rotom, our amazing Adamant. Not amazing, but our Adamant Rotom, which got Shockwave. I'm so excited. It's not Thundershock anymore, but Thunderwave, Uproar, and Double Team. It's time. Whew. I'm incredibly nervous. Um, taking a look at the Gym Leader's Mons, he leads with a Vulpix. Now, in most cases, Vulpix, hey. We got water types. Or Tucker could be good. We got water types. We got rock types. We got a ground type. It's a fire type. Did I say water type? Fire type. No, I said Vulpix. All good, but he has energy balls. So for Vulpix, I'm now realizing Tucker could actually put in the work for Vulpix. But Silver could also. So Silver and Tucker potentially for the Vulpix. Then our Deerling, which is Grass type. Deerling is when it becomes a lot more difficult. It is normal type still, right? It is normal Grass. Machop? 
Could we machop it here? Either machop or... Um... Our silver. Or Tucker again. Then we got Ivysaur, which... Honestly, Sprunk might actually be able to live a hit. Um, I wouldn't want to risk it. But worst case scenario, like... I think we saved... Sludge Bomb. Solar Beam. Sleep Powder. Synthesis. I think we saved Tucker for Ivysaur. Then we got Charmeleon, which has Dragon Pulse. Which Brock... Brock could actually handle Charmeleon, I think, the best. And then, for his last one, Delta Aaron, we have to use Machop. Or, we could use our boy Octillery. So, I think... I think we lead... I think we lead Silver. Now, obviously, the worst part of it is this man can switch up what order he uses his team members. And do we have any items? Metal Coat for Steel-type moves. Um... Magnet, we ooh 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 ooh. Give to silver. Because if we can get Shockwave Oko, that Vulpix, that'd be nice. Charcoal? Do we? We don't have a fire type move, do we? No. Oh, leftovers. Oh, we don't have much items. I think I want to give leftovers to. Tucker. Like, I know it makes more sense to put it on a Bulkymon, but I think Tucker, just because he's a lot, he has a lot of use. Um, spell tag, we don't have any ghost moves. Everstone, no. Normal gem. We could, like, superpower or strength. You know what? You know what? Let's do it. Let's put it on him. Just give him something. Steel move? Does anyone have a steel move? I don't think so. Unless we unless we could power up our iron defenses. Do we have any berries? We do not. Okay, I think I think we're as set up as we're ever gonna get. I did battle the trainers. I'm running the wrong way. I battled the trainers off screen to get a little bit of grinding because that cave was so slow. I started Four and a half hours ago. I basically, like, recording this right after finishing grinding. I went from 10 a.m. to 2.30, basically. And that's why this episode might be a little bit late. Okay. Because grinding was awful. And I'll say it once, I'll say it twice, I'll say it every time. Grinding does not make a Pokemon game tough. I know this game is tough. And, like, I do appreciate the toughness of this game. But I don't appreciate the grinding. And this has been multiple, multiple grinds that have taken forever. Forever. Because the wild mons don't do much. I mean, they're better than a normal Pokemon game. Don't get me wrong. But we'll see. I know later in the game they add stuff that makes it easier. And once we get there, it'll be better. But to start the game, too much grinding. 25 for the first gym. I don't know. Just my opinion. Other than that, I really like this game. But let's get into this. Okay, I'm gonna save. I'm nervous as can be. Oh, we don't even. Oops, I clicked V again. It's a white rock. So this is this is our boy Orion. A challenger, huh? My name's Orion. I'm the leader of the Sun Touch City Gym. I'm pretty good with fire types, and all my Pokemon work together under the light of the sun. That was a hint, by the way. Wink. Do you want to battle? I'm ready. Okay. Deep breaths. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> yes, let's do it. All right, let's get started. Wish me luck. No, wish me luck. With you by my side, I'm sure... Oh, he's talking to his rock. What? Oh, the rock. Everyone wants to know about the rock. It gets lonely being a gym leader, so I have to make friends where I can. Everyone in this city mocks me for it, but it's alive. I just know it. But whatever, that's not important right now. You want to battle, right? Let's get started. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. V. 
the only uh, better prep I could have done was adding that Pokemon that we can get in the second mission. But I don't know if it would have helped because that's more of a grass struggle. Okay. Because it's a ground type. <sighs> Orion would like to battle. His Vulpix. We planned for this. One straight shockwave. That did nothing. Okay, we go Tucker. That did so much and my attack did so little. That did so much! Oh my... Why? Dual chop. He's faster. I think we straight up lose this. Rock Blast. We're not going to live in Energy Ball. Oh, we're barely living. Oh, I should have... I could have just sent Brock. The issue, though, is we need Brock for other mons. His Aaron. Oh. Oh, he's going straight up Ace off the bat. So, his Aaron has Dig, has Iron Head, and Rock Slide. Now, I'm going to expect either a Dig or an Iron Head. So, let's go Freedom. Flame Wheel, what? Please be... Okay, he... Why? Why does he absolutely do so much? Bubble Beam. Our boy Rayquaza is gonna just have to like manhandle the rest. Okay, that did that did a good. His air balloon popped. Oh, that's why Bubble Beam did so little. Okay, just use your super potions. We can lower that speed. Let's go! And the sun's gone. Who's next? Deerling. Oh no. Our answer's gone. What moves does he have? He has solar beam? The sun's gone though. So this is a free, this is a free hit. Okay, jump kick didn't do much. Okay, we can aura beam again. Regular potion, that's fine. Okay, one more. Synthesis, okay. We can, we can play this stall game. My aura beam's eventually gonna take you out. And I think this hit might actually do it. Yes. <sighs> Here comes the Ivysaur. Oh, Charmeleon's coming next. Oh, he has Thunder Punch. The issue is, is I don't think we... I think we just have to, like, hope and just go for it. Can we live a Thunder Punch? life orb okay sprunk okay sprunk ancient power
Okay, he, he wastes a turn to set up the Sunny Day. But I think, I'm pretty sure that the... Ivysaur has Solar Beam, so it, it does not matter. I mean, I, I, I can try for Sand Attack, but he's faster. I, I, I don't know what, what much better I could have done. Like, like I said, okay, the other Pokemon I could have gotten was a Ground-type Grimer. It's, well, the Nuzlocke's over, so this healing doesn't matter. So let's, let's take a look. Delta Grimer. It, it, I think it's, it's just pure Ground-type. And it evolves at 38, so it's not, like, gonna be anything special. And it doesn't even have any good ground-type moves. So even, even in that situation, I don't think I would have replaced anyone. Because Freedom had a purpose, Tucker was just resistant, and just did not take hits. Brock did decent. Sprunk couldn't take a flamethrower. Like... It wasn't even in the sun. 44 special defense did not take a flamethrower, not in the sun. Uh, Rayquaza did nice. Um, I mean, I f was hoping he'd pull through, but that, that Charmeleon was just broken. Like, I, I, I don't, I, I don't understand how much better I could have played it. I mean, the only other option we really have at this point is just to play the game on normal difficulty. I mean, that's still gonna be hard on its own self. They lose items. And he loses, he loses his Delta Aaron. It still plays with the whole drought, but uh, Vulpix only has Flame Burst and Hidden Power Grass, not Energy Ball. Deerling has uh, Facade rather than takedown, which I mean... Oh, and only double kick instead of jump kick. Uh, Ivysaur only has sludge and leech seed in compared to sludge bomb. And then... Uh, Charmeleon loses its electric type move. Like, this game is just broken. And, the, like... Sure. If I could get a life orb or any type of item that's good this early, sure. You know, the only thing that might have changed it, which no, I don't think it would have changed it at all because once Rayquaza got against Charmeleon, I mean, maybe the defense is 55, but that Charmeleon did just a lot. Was maybe putting the leftovers on him? Here. Th this does not count. I mean, I don't even think, I don't even think knowing what's going to happen is going to change much. I'm still going to leave lead with silver. I mean, I don't actually, I wouldn't in the second attempt because silver, maybe I don't, even, maybe I don't even attempt to try it again, like in this episode. We just have to restart. Again. Again, it'll, it'll be episode 40 when we finally get the first gym badge. But yeah. If you guys are watching, put in the comments whether or not I should switch to normal mode. That's what my train of thought is going. <sighs> um, there's probably not going to be an episode tomorrow. I'm probably going to take the time to just read the responses and just take a breather because I just spent four hours of training my whole team just to, in 15 minutes to have it all wiped away. So yeah, I'm probably going to take for tomorrow off for Insurgents. But yeah, in the comments, just let me know. Normal, or do we keep going for hard? Do we try? 
But I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see episode 40. 40 of Insurgents. That's how long it's gonna take. We're gonna be on like 100 and reach the third badge. But thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. But until next time, everyone, peace.